I am Adrian Vega and I have a magical family. My baby, the first word was papa. Her second word was cartas. My wife was a little bit disappointed. My wife and I met when we were 18. I knew right away that I wanted her in my life. I am very good at imagining tricks, and she is very good at figuring out the method and making Hi. them real. She is the perfect partner. My life changed when we had a baby. I don't get to practice magic as much, but I am happy, and the audience can feel it. Having a family drives me to be a success. If I fool Penn and Teller tonight, the trophy is for all three of us. Get ready for some amazing card magic by Adrian Vega. Hello. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello, bro. Hello, Penn. Hello, Teller. I am so happy I am all the way from Spain, and this is my first time here at Fulas. So for that reason, I bring for you my best trick of my show. Brock, tell me a number between one and five, whatever you want. You have one? Yes. Name it. Three. Three. Are you sure or do you want to change? I'm sure. Three? Look Three. at this. Amazing. Nothing here, but under the seat, there is something exactly. Number three. Pa, pa, pa. Eh, from Spain. Friends. No, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait. I can improve it. I can improve it doing something with cars. I love car magics. Maybe you love car magic, yeah? So pen, red or black? Uh, red. Red. Rock. Hearts. Or diamonds. Diamonds. Are you sure or do you want to change? I don't care, I am a professional, bro. Diamonds. Diamonds. <laughs> diamonds? <Yes>. Sure? <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Why? Because as you know, there are 52 different cars in one deck, right? But there is only one single car in my hand. And you said number three. three. You said red and you said diamonds. Three of diamonds. I know this is crazy. But I love it. Three of diamonds! Yes! <laughs> amazing, amazing, amazing. But today, today, I want to be honest with all of you. Because magic is so amazing that you can get addicted to it. Yeah? And this is a problem because there are magicians that they are taking medication for this. <laughs> Even the new deck of cards, they have a warning sign because once you start playing with this, it's impossible to stop. And if you can see, look at this. Magic is addictive. I told you, it's real, it's real. And there is always one reason for this. There is always one car that makes magician crazy. The Joker. This is the most addicting car in the deck. So for that reason, when I want to do magic, I destroy the Joker like this. I try to keep it under my control inside to the car box so we can hear it and we can watch it. So now I think I am ready to do my favorite card trick just with one card, okay? Of course, they are all different. So, Brock, tell me, stop, whatever you want. Stop. Stop there, sure? Yes. So, seven of hearts, really doesn't matter the card, doesn't matter the card. The most important thing is now your name. So can you put your name on the... Wait. <laughs> too... Too fast, maybe. <laughs> I told you, it's difficult to control the Joker. So if the Joker is there, maybe here, should be. So, oh, yeah, it's weird, it's weird, weird. Yeah. <laughs> So put your name, my friend, put your name. I try, try to forget the jokers, okay, for now. So better in the pocket. So just with the seven of hearts, with the name of my friend. Seven of hearts, the only card in the world with your name, right? Yes. And with this card, I'm gonna show you the fastest trick in the history of magic. Only I have to shuffle real quick, like that. <laughs> only I have to cut real, slow, and one car will fly from the deck to my hand, and that car is exactly the Joker. <laughs> sorry, sorry, but you already know what happened. So if the Joker is on the table, in my pocket should be one car, and that car should be exactly another Joker. What is <laughs> Wait, 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 because these two Jokers, they're gonna help me to find one car from the middle to the deck to the middle of the Jokers, Look, only one car between them. I don't want to touch. Can you show the car and show that? Now it's exactly, look, another freaking joker. Take, take. <laughs> give it for me, give it for me. Because look at this, nothing in my hand, right? Nothing in my hand. But behind, look at this, behind the joker, there is another joker. It's a present for you. It's a present for you. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I told you, I told you at the beginning, and I said that it was very difficult to keep all this joker under my control. 
And when I say all these jokers, <laughs> I really mean all these Joker. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, because now all the cards, they are Joker, and of course, this is totally crazy, my friends. And of course, and of course, we will need the medication, and I have medication for everyone. So don't worry, I have medication for you, so don't get addicted, don't get addicted. <laughs> but if I am honest, I told you at the beginning, and I said that I wanted to be honest, but I lied. Because, my friends, once you start playing with this craziness, once you start playing with magic, it's impossible to stop. And there is no cure for this. There is no <laughs> medication for this. The only thing that we can do once we feel the magic is just keep enjoying the illusion <laughs> of the impossible. The only way to take out this car is just destroying the reality. Destroying th this model, my friend, just to keep this as a reminder of this crazy experience. Because, my friend, this is part of my magic, but also this is part of wow. my life. Seven of... Wow. Ah, yeah, thank you for you. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Teller. Wow. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. Wow. I'm genuinely fascinated watching all of these tricks. I'm learning so much on this show. Can you teach me something about magic? In my case, first you have to be, try to be an artist, an entertainer, try to entertain your audience, and then enjoy with the trick, no? Because if you are thinking only in the method, or only, oh, I have to hide this from the audience, you will not enjoy, no? And you will not be happy. What made you want to become a magician? Being on a stage and trying to amaze the audience, mm -hmm. I discovered that was the best moment because I feel free. Because sometimes in your life, you are not as free as you want. No? Adrian, your yeah. trick was full of jokers. Yes. So let's see if you fooled them. Okay. Oh, Adrian, another Spaniard. <laughs> Damn you all. Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> I gotta tell you, uh, that is. Uh, a perfect routine. It's just a perfect routine. What you want out of a magic is for it to be inevitable and surprising. If you just have surprise out of nowhere, it means nothing. If it's too inevitable without a surprise, it means nothing. You want to go right down the middle, so you set up the pill thing right at the beginning, so as soon as we see the pills, it's inevitable. But we didn't know there were going to be pills. It's that perfect way of structuring a routine. And just all your handling was so, so beautiful. And uh, we have this, as you know, love-hate relationship with the Spanish magicians. <laughs> and we are starting to learn a little bit about the way you bastards think. And once again, like your countrymen, just the greatest magicians in the world. But this time, you didn't fool us. Next time, I bet you will. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, people. Thank you. That secret language that only magicians understand makes sense. Yeah, I know. I know you are the master. So thank you. Thank you, Vega. Adrian Vega.